Hey guys and welcome back to SPS Social Pulse a Studio. So most definitely guys today's video is a bit of an interesting one because I want to take you guys through uh, the processes of what you do know before you buy a used car in Kenya. So when buying a used car in Kenya there are several important things you should go through or you should check before you buy the car because uh, you have to be like really really wise so that you can make also a wise decision. And here is a checklist guide to help you go through the process of buying a used car in Kenya. Take a look. So the first process of when you want to buy a used car in Kenya. So for the person who's selling uh, you the car, uh, you should also ask them uh, at first to provide the ownership documents because at some point, you know those who are see ya. Ensure the seller provides the original logbook. The logbook is a kind of a document that shows the original owner of the car. Uh, in other countries, they also call it uh, a green book and verify that the details uh, match the seller's uh, identification. Check the logbook for any outstanding loans because you should also check that and put that into consideration. So that is one of the first, 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 first process. Identify owner's, mm, identify owner's identification. So that is one of the things that you should consider before getting to buy a used car in Kenya. For the person who is selling you, let them provide the documents that they bought the car with, the logbook or the green book. The second very, very, very important thing to uh, consider when you're buying a used car in Kenya is now request the service history because you can buy a car that has been very, 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 very poorly maintained by the owner, like the previous owner from who you want to buy to. Tell them to uh, provide you the service history so that you can know how regularly that car was being serviced and uh, because uh, when the car is being properly surveyed, it shows that it has been properly maintained. So consider asking for the service history. The third process of buying a the third thing to consider when you're buying a used car in Kenya is mechanic condition. If possible, have a trusted mechanic uh, uh, to just check you for the car. If the car is uh, well maintained and it have all it have any mechanical issue, because you can see a car physically looking so good, but when uh, but when you get to like purchase that car, it gets to disturb you, sana. If possible, uh, let them uh, check the engine, uh, transmission, brakes, suspension, suspension, and overall condition of the vehicle like in general have a trusted mechanic and also if also possible let the mechanic come from inside because when, when they come from the other side they might get a bit of some tip kidogo drive and they can even get to lie to you so that's a one 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 factor that you should consider before you buy a used a second hand used car in kenya the other thing that you should consider before buying a used car in Kenya, you should ask for the accidental history just to check if that car has been involved in an accident before. That is very, 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 very important. Look for us. Look for any signs uh, of previous accidents uh, or repairs. Check for mismatched paints uh, on the car body uh, and even panel gaps or signs of welding. You can also request a professional inspection to identify any hidden damage in the car. So that is a very, very, very important because if the car has been involved in an accident before, most definitely it shows that it might have some future problems maybe when you get to purchase it. And also maybe that is the reason as to why the car, the person who wants to sell the car, want to dispose the car because they are running away from problems. It doesn't mean they should run away from, the, from their problems and bring the problems to you. So, consider asking for the accidental history of the car, if any has happened before. Fifth thing that you should consider before you buy a used car in Kenya, and I know most of you guys don't know this, and this is one of actually the most important things to also consider before you buy a used car in Kenya. It is called the odometer reading. This one helps you know that the mileage that the car that the car that the car owner tells you the car has gone, it is not tampered with like before on the dashboard. I'm on the place where it shows like the kilometers covered by the car. Because most of these guys they can actually uh, like um, reduce the numbers of uh, the, reduce the number of the mileage that the car has covered just by twisting backwards the speedometer. So guys, you should be very, very, very careful and you should use the odometer reading. That one helps you uh, read the, the correct mileage that the car has covered. So, consider that. And I know you guys didn't know that. Did you know that? I would drop it in the comment section down below. So just let me know what you think about that odometer reading thing. Perfect. So the other thing that you should consider, actually this is the sixth thing that you should consider while buying a used car in Kenya. It's called the V... 
VI and the vehicle identification number should verify the VIN against the details in the logbook to ensure they match and you also you can also get to check the VIN of the car history report through the service uh, the companies that offer such services services such as AutoCheck and uh, CarMax and like many other or even CarFax the other company called CarFax they help you check the VIN the vehicle identification number check the vehicle identification number you can by the owner and go to the logbook and check if they match. If they don't match, just be aware that you're getting caught. The most important thing that you should do, you should never, never, ever, ever, ever buy a car without considering to ask for a test drive before you get to do any transaction. Take the car for a test drive to evaluate its performance and handling. Pay attention to any unusual noises, vibration or warning lights during the drive. If you need to watch any light while on dashboard, you are paying the mambo in the coin and the So that's one of the things that you should also consider like sana 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 sana. Be very careful. Ask for test drive. If you see any signs of uh, black black uh, like uh, black smoke, be very careful because that might be a late fact why someone is disposing out their car. I'm not saying someone selling you the car is bad, but you should be very careful while buying a used car in Kenya because most definitely someone wants to upgrade to a better one and they don't have to leave problems to you so that they can like, enjoy their life. Yeah, perfect. The tenth thing to consider while buying a used car in Kenya is called the legal compliance. Ensure that the car complies with the uh, legal requirements, uh, including a valid insurance, roadworthiness certificate, and also that it has been given an inspection as sticker. Because if it lacks all this, you're going to be put in a trap by the person who's selling the car to you. You can imagine driving a car without insurance. How risky can that even be? So you should be very, 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 very careful. What do you think? Are those enough? Do you know others? Drop it in the comment section of below before I give you three more. And then we wrap up the video. And if you're watching a video for the first time in this channel, SPS Drive, and you click the subscribe button, share your video, this video, so that when they're getting to buy a car, they get to also see and consume this information. Perfect. So the other thing, the second last thing that I'm going to give you about buying a used car in Kenya is all about price comparison some other people can like uh overcharge you like really really a lot uh, most definitely and i've said this before if you're like a first time car buyer some other people might take that as an advantage of a price when they're like getting to uh, sell a car to you you should research the market value of the similar make and model to ensure that you are getting a fair price for the car get like if you want to buy a toyota and uh, a toyota fielder and then the master a toyota fielder get to the internet like right now we are lucky that the internet is there i look for the prices of a like a toyota builder compared with the price that you're being given by the person who wants to sell the car to you and that that you can easily know that if you're being conned or you're if you're being sold to the right to, the, to like the right price what do you think the last thing that i will give you to this video is ownership transfer once satisfied with the condition of the car i ensure proper transfer ownership by completing all necessary paperwork and paying any applicable transfer fee if there is a lawyer to be included please uh, be in an agreement before you guys do the transaction who's gonna cater for the whatever cost and it don't care and most definitely guys i'm really so much excited to have you guys on sps drive social power studios just to give you information that will help you make effective decisions in the future so abarigani viewer mimi unanisi kia unona sina shida yote ni mungu anasa idea so definitely guys thank you so much for watching to my channel and uh please consider hitting the subscribe button because a lot is yet to come on this very interesting channel so yeah we talk in the next amazing episode of SPS Drive just to give you information matters because boom